Okay, Dr. Baron Greta here again. And so in this next video, we're going, to we're going to build off the last video where we built these two little houses. And in this one, we're going to take these from being simple block houses to actually making them hollow so that something could be on the inside of these houses. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to figure out how we create holes on a computer. And if you notice up here, these little icons, instead of being solid, like a, a red color or a purple, they have these little stripes on them. And that indicates that they are, in fact, a hole, that shape, not a solid object. So let me show you one thing before we get into that. Because I don't want to change these, because I want to have these for reference when we talk about the differences. But what I would like to do is I'd like to move these down here in the work plane so they're out of the way. Or actually, you know what? Let me move them to the back and so we can work some more up front. One of the quick and easy ways to move all of these things to the uh, back is to use that highlighting rectangle. When I click on that, it's all been selected and I can use the arrow buttons on my keyboard to simply slide it all up to the top of the workspace. Okay, so now I just click anywhere else and they're no longer selected. One other thing we can also do is we can select them again. And if you're wanting to select everything, instead of making a square around them, you can also use another little quick shortcut on your keyboard. I like shortcuts. If you look for a button on your keyboard that says CTRL, it's the very bottom left button on your keyboard. If you push that with one finger like your pinky and hold it, and then press the A button on the keyboard, everything gets highlighted. You see the little blue ring around everything. So that means, once again, I can move those if I want, or I can come right up here where it says copy. This one says copy, and this one says paste. If I click copy, and then I click paste again, I've got a whole other set of them. I can use the arrow keys to bring it down. And so now I have a set of the exact same house that I can work on, whereas my other set that I first made is untouched. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we've talked about how to move things, or how to select things, how to move things, and then how to copy things. Okay? That's pretty important because you're going to be able to want to copy lots of things because if you're, look, if you're creating lots of little houses, you might not want to build them all one block at a time. Also, if you're going to be building, uh, you know, creating lots of figurines, once again, you might not want to have to build all of them from the beginning each time. So being able to select one, copy it, and paste it can be very useful and then moving it to wherever you need it. All right, now that I've selected this, if I don't want it, right here is a trash can. Click delete and that goes away. It'll, whatever's been selected will, be, will disappear. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So what I want you to do for this video, for this project, is I want you to select everything. I want you to move it to one side of the screen. Then I want you to take that same thing do a copy, a paste, and move the new set back to where the first set was. Okay, we're just kind of moving things around, figuring out how to move things, how to make new copies of things, and that's about it. All right, 